Hope you're doing well today. I received in the group a really great question from one of the members and I thought I'd jump on live and um, answer it. So before I jump into that question, I, like for the new people, I thought I'd introduce myself. Okay, you're probably thinking, who is this person? So I'm Natalie Thompson. I am an accredited practicing dietitian. I enjoy help, helping mums um, with nutrition and body image concerns to discover the joy in eating, make peace with their food and their body, whilst being the role model for their children that they imagined. So that's me in a nutshell. So I'll read um, the member's question um, word for word because, yeah, I really like the way it's been worded and it will probably resonate with you guys a bit better than my interpretation, which you can see in the um, top of this post. So anyway, um, Belinda said that um, how to identify diet talk versus non-diet talk. I often find myself wondering where the line is and can see from a lot of the conversation on here that others do too. For example, the dilemma, I feel like eating X, but I think I should eat more Y because that's what the guidelines, the doctors etc. say. Or a more su subtle example of, I think I should eat more veggies. Logically, for good nutrition, this is probably correct, but is it all, let me scroll down, is it or does it become diet talk at some point? Is it all just irrelevant if we learn to trust our intuition? So that is a really great question and I have too noticed that it has been um, popping up in the group. So before we jump into it, um, please if you have any questions as we're talking, please post them in the group and I will um, answer them at the end of the um, live chat. Okay, so yes, the simple answer for this complex question is you are the only person that will really know um, when you're crossing that line from the should talk being helpful to the should talk being unhelpful. Okay, now obviously working with a health professional um, in the non-diet you know, arena like myself, a dietitian, um, I can help you to identify that because it's very, very obvious for me, but you have to make the decision about whether it is a problem for you. So if you're feeling like you're distressed because you've crossed that line, well then that's probably when you need to um, work with someone like myself if you're not already. Um, so yeah, so basically is this talk helpful or unhelpful? That's really the crux of it. Okay, so let me explain now what I mean by the different um, yeah, talks. So the, um, the unhelpful, you'll know this if you're um, crossing the line because it will be related to weight. Okay, so you'll be getting the messages that, oh, okay, this should talk is coming into my head because I need to lose weight. Total diet talk, okay? So obvious and most of you probably are aware of that anyway um, but the other I guess point which might not be as obvious to you is if you're finding that the talk is leading to judgment from you okay um, so you're losing that self-compassion um, and you're feeling a sense of guilt and shame so that is very diet talk as well. So definitely that would be leading to you feeling like you crossed the line and maybe a bit of distress there. So that's the two big things that I can think of um, when I read Belinda's question. So your, the, the should talk um, is unhelpful if it relates to weight and weight loss. And if you're feeling this sense of yeah, guilt, shame, judgment and just not feeling very good about yourself because 
you'll often find yourself in these situations rebelling and actually doing the opposite to what you probably would usually do if you are an intuitive eater. So diet talk, not, not great at all. Okay, so let's look at the flip side and that flip side is the helpful side of this should talk. So I have three examples here. No, I have five. <laughs> so the first one is, okay, so you're a pregnant mum and you know that um, you know three months before your pregnancy and during your pregnancy and after your pregnancy um, while you're breastfeeding, um, having folate is very essential to prevent neural tube defects in your child. So this should talk is actually helpful for you, of course, if it doesn't get all blown out of proportion and um, you fixate on the food, okay, all the nutrient. So again, in moderation, this talk can be helpful. So you will then likely eat more of the green leafy vegetables and take your supplement. Okay, so that's one example. The other example is, um, yeah, relating to the example that Belinda used, I should eat more veggies because of whatever, the guidelines, the doctor, whoever, and even your own knowledge. Okay, so this can be helpful if um, you're worried about um, constipation or altered bowel habits. So obviously with fibre and vegetables, other foods as well, but it can keep you regular and prevent bowel issues like constipation, just to name one example. Okay, so another example is satiety. So I should eat vegetables to keep me fuller for longer in this situation because I know that I can't eat um, when I usually want to because of X, Y, and Z. Because I have to go to school, I have to go to work, and I'll be you know, in a situation where I can't access food on my own terms. So that would be a very helpful situation. Um, when your body, when, when your mind says, I should eat vegetables. Okay, and the last one here is for general well-being. Well, we all know that vegetables are great for well-being, but yeah, uh, when you find yourself in the extremes, okay, so all or nothing, that black and white thinking, that's when it becomes a problem for you. For you. Um, and yeah, you can get support around that if you're finding that it's distressing you. Okay, so that is the crux of my message today. Um, any questions, um, please post them below now. Otherwise, if you're catching the replay, um, I will answer them shortly thereafter. Let me just see. Oh, yes, the last um, que question that Belinda had was, is it all just irrelevant if we learn to trust our intuition? So, yes. That is a big part of it, Belinda. If you do truly trust your intuition and eat intuitively, non-diet, you will naturally find, like you know, um, that you gravitate towards those more nutritious foods um, when you really need them, okay? So yeah, sure, you still go for the hocker spun, the chocolates or you know whatever it may be, but it's kind of imbalanced. And that's what I've been noticing too. So, yeah, that was a really great question, Belinda. Um, you've probably seen in the group that I, um, in the last week or so, that I have developed this resource, this free guide, and it's titled How to Stay Focused to Never Diet Again. So if you don't already have a copy of that, um, jump on to um, this link, which is epearl.com forward slash B capital O P capital capital N Y and V um, yeah and you can get your free copy of this guide which is really really great for newbies in this space in the non-dining space or for people who have been non-dining for a little bit and are finding that they're experiencing this off-track um, yeah time Totally normal. So yeah, that's what I have to say also is having this should talk, okay, it's totally normal. Particularly with the culture that we're living in, it's very diet focused. 
I get this should talk, okay? But I know where the line is and I make sure that I don't cross it. Um, so, like I said, should talk doesn't have a prob doesn't pose a problem in people who are very aware of it and are diffusing the unhelpful um, should talk, which is more high level stuff, which I actually um, help my clients to understand and um, practice in their own lives. And yeah, so basically, it's all normal. Don't feel bad because you're thinking that oh my gosh, I got should talk. I should be having vegetables. I should be doing this. I should be doing that. Not at all. Totally normal. So I just want you to calm down, relax, and just go. Ah, that's that silly diet mentality going on, which we all are exposed to it. And I don't think it's going away anytime soon. Probably not in my lifetime, unfortunately. And that's why I do this work, because I'm really, really passionate about stopping the next generation from dieting and just maximising you know, their, their life opportunities. So living their life in the, in the most productive way um, with lots of fun. So let me just see if I've covered off <laughs> the main things. Yes, I think I have. So, yeah, like I said, if you haven't already got that free guide, um, jump onto that website, ePearl. Um, yeah, anyway, I'll just put it in the, the comments of this post. And, yeah, I will chat to you later and answer any questions that you may have. Great chatting to you.